Now hold on just a second, Jeff. You told everybody that there wasn't going to be a new sequential Saturday. It's true, I that, heard. That's what he said. He totally said that. That guy's a scumbag, man. First he said there wasn't going to be a super awesome video game show. There was totally a super awesome video game show. Then no sequential Saturday. But what the fuck? It's Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. It's back, baby. Yeah, welcome everybody to Sequential Saturday. I'm Jeff and I lie. And uh, I'm Grant and I am excited for this game. You're excited? You, I've We've trained you and I for oh, quite yeah, a while yeah, yeah. for a sequential and this is one that I've been kind of interested in looking back on um, for a little while so let's go ahead and get this uh, show on the road I want to see that Hard? dreamy crushing no yeah normal okay. uh, yeah Pussy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> come on man <laughs> come on Grant. Start. <laughs> uh, so I think this is actually really appropriate because in the last game that we played here Grant was yeah. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Ah. And in that game, the, the lead character's name is uh, Naked Snake is his call sign. Naked Snake. So we called him Nathan Snake through the entire game. Now we're playing with Naked Drake um, in Uncharted. Naked Drake. Uh, Drake's Fortune. It's, man, it's been a long time since I played this game, but I'm, I'm kind of psyched. I remember this as being like the first game that really justified the fact that I purchased a PlayStation 3. This is one of the first games where I was like, this is better than a lot of adventure movies I've yeah. seen. Like, why did they make Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? No <laughs> fucking joke. This is so much better. It's like, it's shut up right now. We have a cutscene. Uh, there must be a beginning of any great matter, but the continuing unto the end until it be thoroughly finished yields the true glory. I think I'm going to need more pirate, pirate in there. Sir right. Francis Drake, right. 1587. Yar, I be Sir Francis. I dropped me book Wait, uh, in the water. I, I turned on is that a sarcophagus? No, that's not a, yeah, that's not a book. <laughs> it's a giant made out of stone. Just recovered. Okay. Sarcophagus. All right. The coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis. Drake. Oh, Sir Francis. He was a trickster. It's 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 actually full of just those party snakes. <laughs> when they open it up, it's a, gotcha. Boy, <laughs> you want to be have to do a rubbing of his uh, shield. I think. Like I saw this movie. So dirty. Hey man, it's my ancestor. I'll so defile I whatever the fuck I want to. Nathan Drake well, is a handsome. He's a sexy. Devil. He's a sexy dude. Man, I mean, the renderings got even better in the second and third game for this. Yes. But still, this doesn't look bad. Oh no! How old, how old is this? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to look it up on your phone. I don't remember exactly when it was, but it was. I, I oh do that. shit! It's a modern era, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! Harry Houdini was buried in this coffin. What's going on? Oh, it's just porno. He just he buried porno at the bottom of the sea. Who would do that? That's a weird thing. What a weird pervert. Oh, it's all in code too. It's coded pornography. It's braille. Come on, hold it up. <laughs> Back braille in the. Porn. No, 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 no way. Deal it's his little. It's Sir Francis That's Drake's it. little black book. Wait, it's like <laughs> Isabella is a dirty skank. <laughs> this girl only handies. That's right. <laughs> Sir Francis Drake was kind of an asshole, you guys. That's what we're saying. 2007, this came out. 2007, seven years old. Oh uh, man. Trouble. Hurry it up. Okay. Okay. What's going on? It's uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, pirates. Oh. Pirates. Just pirates. Yeah. Actually, you know, what'd be cool is if they made a. They don't take prisoners. Oh shit! He brought he brought a lot of guns with him. What are you talking about? Um. He also. Oh, there they are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how Where did you? They? How did you miss that, Miss Investigative Reporter? <laughs> so this always kind of reminds me of the Life Aquatic. Oh yeah, <laughs> the comedic aspect of just going after the pirates. Like I always feel like it should be playing Search and Destroy by Iggy and the Stooges during uh, during this part. It's like a camera. You just. Now, she's been in the other two games too, right? Elena? Yeah, she's in all three. Yeah, this is the first introduction ever. All right. Yeah, like he's so nonchalant. He's like, hey, baby, let's go murder some people. You know? Yeah, this would be fun. Yeah. You know what I like to do on the weekends is shoot at boats. I would just hide underneath and be like, there's no one here. I'm just hiding under the boat. Kind of like Mario. Whoa, dude. Mario 3, Wait, I guess. Did you guys bring your exploding Whoa. barrels with you? <laughs> nice. All right. Dude, you know what? I don't think I ever played this game. I think I only I started at 2 and then played 3. Boom. New experience for you. There you go, Grant. Brand new experiences. Wait, which is the reload button? There it is. Okay. Wee! I am the captain now. It's so floaty. Um, do you guys, did you bring exploding barrels? Who didn't bring exploding barrels? Whoa, dude, he just, he just, did he just die? Yeah, fuck that ship. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yes, I'm tired of this ship. Oh, fast and furious. Fast five. <laughs> yeah, it looks a lot like that other guy. Uh, uh, uh. 
Uh, uh. Bingo! Tiger uppercut! I feel like there's not as much romanticizing of the modern pirates. Well, they're, they've got, like, skiffs and AKs. Yeah. Like, they they don't they don't have nearly as many, uh, oh. There used to be something jolly and adventurous to them. Now they're just kind of assholes. Not, not really. I, mean, I feel like that's such a fallacy about what pirates really were. Uh-uh. There's this uh, Disney cartoon I watch, uh, Jake and the Pirates, Neverland Pirates. Yeah. And they make it look fun. Pirates are honorable people. Yeah. And that's the pirate code, to always help out your friends. <laughs> that's right. How about others? It wasn't about do like, a good turn daily. I think rape they, and murder. They, they confused it with the Boy Scouts. It doesn't really make sense. Yeah. Sully, where are you? Damn it, Sully! Get your fucking ass over here. Whoa! I'm gonna get behind. Whoa! That ah, wrong way. Damn. Oh. Where's what? Do I have like a jump or a? Can you get on top of that thing? A juke. Get the better vantage point up there. Nope. Also, why is he not wearing shoes? In the kneecaps. Oh! He's scuba diving. These guys are completely... You don't wear shoes when you scuba. Well, he's not scuba diving anymore. Well, you're not going to just, like, put your wet feet all sides <laughs> in some shoes again. Get that gun. Which one? Oh, that one? Thank okay. You. More bullets. Take cover next to an object. Whoa. Oh, shit. They've got a machine gun. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Why'd you duck behind the exploding box? Well, I didn't know it was explosive at the time. Okay. Uh... Oh. Reload. Man, yeah. Um, I mean, at what point is it not worth recovering the boat, pirates? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're kind of fucking it up. Well, at this point, we just hurt their feelings. They were like, we just came by to talk about whether you would like to have us over for tea. Oh, Sully. started immediately shooting at us. He just knocked that boat over with his plane. Yep. That's some impressive flying. Yep. I, I, you know... Grant, I feel like we don't enough anymore. You know what I want to do with my life? <laughs> I want to become. Uh, I want to become Sully. I want to become like a, an old man. Blue from Tailspin. Yes, I want to be. I want to be an old man with a Hawaiian shirt and a seaplane who carries like young dudes that are treasure hunters around to different parts of the globe and has quippy one-liners and smokes cigars. Right there, boom! Look at that guy. He's a pimp. Is he a pimp? He's totally a pimp. He does have a nice mustache. I mean. Okay, you look at this guy. You listen to what he's saying, right? It's like Stacy Keach. Yeah. And if, well, if it isn't the beautiful and is it actually Stacy Keach? I don't know. And if know. you found out that that guy was like some kind of crazy womanizer, you would not be surprised. No. There you go. He's look smooth. At that. Boom. He's got a dopey, lovable protege, right? He's got a plane. What do you say we get out of here? How are they just walking away from a boat? Well, they just—it was a rental. <laughs> it's a rental. They're not getting that deposit get, back. Yeah. Fuck that deposit. <laughs> it's wow. gone. Little present from Sir Francis. So I remember when this was getting ready to come out. I remember looking at a lot of the, um, a lot of the production stuff on how they made like the faces and uh, did the, the uh, all the technology behind it. It was pretty yeah. cool. The one thing I think that was most interesting to me was the fact they did this like frame blending thing where uh, they would blend two different poses together to make it seem more naturalistic when they're running around. Well, I think it looks better than Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Wait, oh, in, in Modern Warfare, or in yeah, Advanced in Warfare? Yeah, in Advanced Warfare. Take that. Yeah. Wow. Kevin Spacey slam. <laughs> Eat a dick, Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Rage Select says, fuck you, Kevin Spacey. Yeah. And he recorded everything in this diary. But you know that if this was real life, these guys would just be horrific alcoholics, right? All the time. Yes. And um, if it was real life, Kevin Spacey would come whoop my ass. <laughs> you think if you saw Kevin Spacey in real life that he would just kick your ass? You're like, ah, yeah, I'm, I heard what you said about me on Rage Select. That's right. Kevin Spacey is a zombie. He's a big... We've, we're going to find out. We're going to do a search for our, one of our IP addresses one day. It's going to turn out that one of our just like regular subscribers... Kevin Spacey, he's, he's at home listening to this and just like just tear rolling down his cheek. That's like, right. Damn, guys. He's a huge fan. He's like, oh man, I was wanted to come to Austin to, to huh? meet Rage Select. El God. I just want an excuse in my life one time to say, El God damn Dorado. El God damn Dorado. Hey, uh, what's that? What's your uh, favorite Lost City? Um, Shit, is it a lost city? <laughs> it's yeah. Roanoke. <laughs> it's El, El goddamn, goddamn Roanoke. Roanoke. Yes. El Roanoke, you know, El Roanoke. <laughs> Spanish Roanoke. Oh, she was the one who put down the deposit. Insurance, right? 
I don't think they sell pirate explosion in insurance. <laughs> I like that they're actually addressing it. I don't know. The camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera. No. Is it? Is it actually? She seems very sarcastic about that. Is the camera actually fine? You should have seen. We got wet. You go on out there and you tell her we just found the lost city of gold. Okay. It is a lost city. Yeah. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? Wait, does she work for hard copy? More or less. Good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. Sometimes I just like You're a real look really good. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's just it's an exciting plot. Oh. I guess the dialogue, man. That's what I'm saying. It's just I want to, you know. Just that little exchange. Like we're gonna have every two-bit scumbag at you yeah. know, like ah, uh, like, hi. We're just making Nathan's hot dog. I, I like the environments they're in. Yeah, it's it's open. It's refreshing. Tropical. Oh, it's <laughs> those assholes! <laughs> Fucking ditched me. They left me here in paradise. That's right. Should have seen that one coming. They left me on the island from Club Dread. What the fuck? <laughs> from Club Dread. Yeah. Wow. You're you're that guy who saw that movie. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a real broken lizard fan. Me too. I saw it as well. But I like the Slam and Sam. Shit, that movie was not as good. Yeah. Slam and Sam was good though. Was it? I liked it. So I watched the first half and I was like, oh, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. They're supposed to be making a, another yeah, Super Troopers. I see Super Troopers was one of my least favorites of theirs. I, it's so quotable. I just like the part at the beginning with the drugs and the drinking the syrup. Oh, yeah. That's I kind like, of the I only like part the that I'm in for it. Timer. Movie too. Just about there. All beer right. Fest? Beer. What was it called? What was it called? Beer Fest? Uh, beer Fest, yeah. Yeah. Wee! Oh. Yes, Sully, I've heard this story a million <laughs> goddamn times. Pa, he's always fucking Pablo Escobar, Pablo Escobar. It's Old. not even a good story. I know. It's not even real. I looked it up on Wikipedia. <laughs> He's just a chronic liar. Yeah. I think he's got a problem. <laughs> trying to get him in therapy a few times. There's a whole chapter of this game dedicated to an intervention with Sully. That's right. Sully, you got a problem. All right, Sully, look. You've the never compulsive, met this guy. compulsive lying. It's got to stop. We've all heard the Pablo Escobar story. You don't have a ghost in your house. You weren't abducted by aliens. That's right. And you seriously. You don't know Pablo Escobar. Do you only have the one? Okay. You only have the Cuban shirts. Is that really what we're doing? <laughs> he just went to Kohl's one day, right, and just bought the entire just cleaned roundabout, the, cleaned out the Cuban shirts. They were on clearance. Yeah, they went to Cuba one time. Cuba. <laughs> Damn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. This is a video game. Come on. Fine. I keep mentioning Kohl's. Yeah. Well. It's a good store. Uh, I'm trying to get a, a sponsorship there. Kohl's. <laughs> Kohl's. Do you need cheap clothes that look pretty good? Go to Kohl's. This is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that difficult? A bride in a brothel? Some of those ladies probably want to get out of the brothel life, or I don't know, maybe. I don't, I don't, they don't have that many brothels in this country. In dirty old man selling. Not that you know about. Yeah. Nah, it's older than that. Years old. <laughs> what are you? T I was hearing rumor there was one like right down the street. Actually, some brothel. A brothel yeah. in Austin. Yeah. In Austin, the Austin pro uh, the Austin Cat House. Yeah. Uh, like some little secret uh, call girl thing. I well, heard some people at the bar mentioning it. I mean, there's like prostitutes, right? Yeah, but, but I think they were trying to say it was like a brothel. Okay. Wait, what are we doing here? We got to get bar up on. Talk. Could be bullshit. We got to get up on one of these things. We'll have to investigate. Do we? Come on, let's go. I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> wait, is that okay? That's not a thing. Sully, are you are you doing anything? Can you help me? <laughs> He's just watching you uh, do your jumping jacks <laughs> at the wall. Root. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about up uh, here? Right there. Up uh, here. I like his little like. Oh, I can get up there. I can get up there. Uh, in later oh, games, he seems to have no problem jumping twenty feet high. Oh, he does that in this game as well. It's just between a superhuman. certain places. All right, I'm going to go down here. Is this where we oh, came from? Oh, right there. How about jump up on that? Oh, hey, there you go. Thanks, Grant. Unless that's where you came from. Good for looking out. Nope. What? And now we got to jump between these things. Ah. Whee! Uh, <laughs> his hand's got to be so calloused. Whee! No, totally. Okay, so the first one would have just fucked me up, and then my knees would have been all blown out. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, here we go. I feel like every time I'd grab Whee! on something like that and knock the wind out of myself. Yeah. Just start <laughs> crying. <laughs> There's something funny about the ground down there. Where? Uh, 
You're like, ha-ha funny? Or? X marks the spot. Okay. Move forward a little. Is that? Look, see what he's looking at. What do you got there? Is Stomp that, uh, on it. So Jump up and down. It's hollow. Jump up and down. Hollow. We gotta find a way to smash hollow. <laughs> Try using your body. Oh, Drake, okay. Just jump down How about there. like this? I sure I won't break any. Oh, god damn. Wow, I you really missed. I couldn't aim. I couldn't do anything <laughs> in midair. Um, all right. Get up here. Go back is up. There, is there a run button here? That I'm not, no. Wait, okay. Over there. Maybe you got to make that thing fall onto it. Yeah, up here. Why don't we go over here? Nope. Oh, fur, fur, fur. Uh, jump from here to there. Now you jump across to the one to the right. Oh, there's like a big rock up there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I go uh, all and the I, way around. I want a rock. You know, I want to rock. rock. Dun, 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 dun. Is it? Uh, it's it's actually it's federal law, right? That when somebody says I want to rock, that you have to say I want to rock. Or you just have to say rock real loud. Yeah, I guess so. Twisted sister. It's twisted sister law mostly. <laughs> twisted sister law. In, in twist twisted sister vania. That's uh. All right. Yeah. Push it. Bullshit. <laughs> he can shove that thing. <laughs> bullshit. That was it. Was all greasy on the bottom. From the, I declare bullshit. Oh yeah, shenanigans. Shenanigans. Also, uh... Can you die if you just jumped off of that? Yes. But... Guess not. He's so graceful. It's like a giant human lemur. Oh! oh. What do you think about bats, Grant? Like bats? Uh, I wouldn't be particularly fond of them flying at my head, mm -hmm. but I'm not necessarily, like, scared of them. I think I've they're gone adorable. spelunking, and they're seeing them, like, just kind of chilling up top. Yeah. They're not doing anything wrong. I think most bats are pretty harmless, right? Yeah. I think even the vampire bat <laughs> only eats uh, little things if it wants to suck on it. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. There's some of those big ass ones. Have you seen those giant bats that like their wingspan is like the same as your wingspan? No. Uh, Looks like some big bats. Got here before he did. Uh oh. God damn it. God damn Spaniards. <laughs> Turns out Sully is also a huge racist. I don't know if you know this. Guy. They don't really touch on it very much in the game, but. I hate the Spaniards. He's an alcoholic. He's a racist. He's also a compulsive liar. He's kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, but you want to be him. Yeah. He's kind yeah, well, of Jeff's idol. Yeah. Away from the bad guys. Well, you know, if you yeah, want to be a really person. effective racist, yeah. Grant, you've got to work talking. really hard at it. What's so he's kind of like old Never Magnum P.I. Yeah. I saw the way you were he just got older Magnum? and became Sully. Yeah. Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> That's old a show they should revisit. They should have old now? Magnum P.I. Tom Selleck ain't doing shit. Yeah. Get him back on the screen. No, old Quigley Down Under. That's what we're deep. That's what we're really <laughs> looking <down> for. <laughs> and we're gonna break it. Break it. It's probably a puzzle to figure out here. Damn. Whoa. Yeah. Nice. Belongs in a museum. My ass. Take that, River Phoenix. <laughs> but was it River Phoenix that played oh, the uh, yeah. Jones? Uh, oh yeah, I like the way that uh, ancient Spaniards uh, left a. Uh, TNT barrel here for you know. Look out, Sully! <laughs> yeah, Jesus, dude, move! Doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Oh shit! Whoa. Okay. It's a narrow path. We can't be expected to have that kind of accuracy. All right. Oh yeah, this is also Where's the one. The door handle. Is this? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta yank on the chain. You yanking my chain, Grant? <laughs> yanking the chain. You gotta yank my. You're yanking my I chain. Just keep going. There we go. Uh, what? Hey, Sully, uh, let me just quit staring there and help. Here, let me do that. Wait, what? I already had it done. What? You had to do it first, then for Sully to watch? Yep. Well, I guess if he can do it. And then I got to go over here crazy. and I got to push. There's like a cart or something, if I remember correctly. See if you can jam it yeah, this really. <laughs> you do have a good memory for Super, this. super, super rickety cart. Let me put this under the giant stone right, ass door. Go. This ought to hold it. Yeah, so like, come on. This will be I fine, right? Okay. This ought to hold it. Yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> All right, hopefully we can find another exit from here. Wouldn't that be your immediate concern? Yeah. All right, we're going to die in here now. You know, this looks familiar. Or we're going to have to start <laughs> chipping away at the snow. I got one of these in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I saw something in Drake's journal about it. Oh, Wait, this where's is one of those outdoor fire pits. Where, how do I access the journal? There we go. I always liked this thing. Yeah. There it is. Yep. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp. Or brazier? Or brazier. Is that a bra for women? Sully, quick, put it on your tits. Keep your mad tits from hanging down. 
<laughs> it's a man's ear. It's a man's ear. Like, this is some kind of man's ear. I don't know. Yeah, I like the fact that the animation sequence of him just lifting one tit into there. And that's right. Pop it on. And, and then it, like, makes this whole room come alive. <laughs> he gets tetanus. <laughs> yep. Is that... Do we need to, like, uh, get some fire out of there? Damn, you know your shit. Nice. Yeah. I, I remember I played the shit out of this when it first came out. I'm sure that later on I'm going to be totally be lost, but this beginning part I played a bunch of times. I think the fire is just enough to knock what? it out, and then it goes what? right out. What? 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 Oh! <laughs> Drake, quit. no! Drake? Drake! Quit, uh, yeah, quit saying how well I know this game, Grant. I think it's, uh, you're cursing me up here. <laughs> I was doing fine. Uh, Man, damn. Jeff, you're the best. You uh, never make mistakes. Joe, shut up. I can't. It's too much pressure. I've never seen you make a mistake in this game. Whack-a-mole. Uh, wait, where do I go from? Uh, oh, here? Okay. Convenient. Ooh. Boops. What bullshit? What? That was a long drop. Yeah. He still dropped like 25 feet. Yeah. That's bad for your knees and ankles. You see, yeah, if you like, if you were going to be exploring He's in caves and He doesn't have magic legs. Ruins and shit. I feel like bringing a, uh, bringing a lighter along might be helpful. A lighter? Yep. Yeah. Oh, good thing that somebody stacked up this TNT. It's dynamite. Let me bring some rope. I like the smoke. Or a whip. Or a whip. A yeah. whip works. Mm -hmm. Maybe a fedora. So I, I was, uh, what, the, uh, you ever watch the Mr. Plinkett reviews? Yes. I've okay. seen a few. Have you seen the one for Crystal Red Skull? Red Media? Yeah. Uh, yeah, wait, no. I don't think I saw that one. Uh, there was one thing where he said in his thing, which I always find those reviews weird because I think they're really insightful, and I don't know why they need all the serial killer bullshit <laughs> yeah. in there. Like, I think that what, just what they're saying is interesting enough that I would actually think I have more friends who would probably watch it if it was it didn't, didn't have, have that, that gimmick. Yeah, creepy ass bullshit in it. But um, one of the things that he said in the Crystal Skull one was that we don't need Harrison Ford to be Indiana Jones, and it's weird because I think I kind of agree with him on that. That. You could put somebody else in the whip in the hat like you do James Bond and just say, this is Indiana Jones, and that it, we'd probably be fine with it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he'd have to have kind of similar mannerisms, right? But it doesn't necessarily have to exactly be Harrison Ford. No, especially since Harrison Ford right. no longer has any charm left in his body. Right. That it's it would all been weed smoked out of him. Oh, okay. One. Okay, so Cog, Jetson's Cog. Spider. Nope. In the order. See oh. the numbers? And then and we then, got uh, Wing fat Man. dude, fat dude with a staff. Yeah, Spider Man, and then uh, Angry Mask, uh, Angry Walmart, right? <laughs> Angry Walmart. Okay, uh, I think I have so to do this. Cog first. This is the Cog, right? Is that no? That's, that's Angry Angry, Angry, Angry Man. Walmart. That's four. Uh, which one is that one over there? Okay, that's Birdman. Nope, nope, nope. Grab the wall, Drake. Okay, fine. Ooh. Don't grab the wall, Drake. At least you Just didn't die. Grab something, Drake. Okay, fine. Be a dick, Drake. Drake, that, be a no, dick. you want to go to those corners anyway, to the left. Where? Straight. To the right. Up here? Yeah. Oh, there's yeah, the there's cog. the cog. All right, well, I got to jump over there from here, I think. Do you? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, right there in the middle little thing. Yeah. All right. Push that. Okay. And you want to get up on it? Get jump up, up on, on it. Do, 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 do. And then wait, wait, which one's next? Crawl across to that other one right that there. That one over there? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but I think we could totally have an Indiana Jones movie that wasn't. Is this the Harrison, spider or the Harrison fat bird man? That's. I don't know what no, the that, fuck No, you that want is. the one behind you. Oh, this one over here? Yeah. Okay. Because um, you know what? I think that the, the best Indiana Jones movies after, like post Indiana Jones, mm -hmm. uh, were The uh, Mummy. Uh, the mummy. Brendan Fraser. I thought that was those were like a kind of a I always kind of considered them to be like a kind of a cool take on Indiana Jones as a more super No, you don't want this one. No? You want the bird. Oh, so that one's the one over there on the left? Yeah. Okay. Um and then you want the smiley face. I kind of want to go back on isn't Rachel Weiss in the in the mummy she movies? Is. God, she is. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. You can just get back on the ground and run over to that one. Okay. Thanks, Grant. Faster. Grant, you're the puzzle master. So, I think this is the best 
continuation by far of Indiana Jones. Of Indiana Jones. You yeah. know, and it seems so weird. The new modern Indiana Jones. It seems so weird they're having such problems making Uncharted into a movie because I look at this game and just go, fuck, man, it kind of writes itself. Like, yeah, just the, take all the cut scenes, right, and then write in stuff like – uh, take the stuff that happens in between each cutscene, right? They can and pretty cut much it down. take this identically. Right, cut down some of the chaff. Um, yeah, looks like there's a ladder cutting to the side. And yeah, wait here while I check it out. Side. What is the ladder? Be like, Sully, you, you, this, it's your turn. All oh, right. I, I went down the last time. <laughs> this time you go down. I don't care about your knees, old man. Quit complaining about your back. I, Take I a mite all. Hey, That's right. Uh, then again, I don't see Sully doing any of this shit. Wait, where's up? <laughs> all right. Who would you cast as the new? Um, whoa! As the new whoa. Indiana Jones. Ah, uh, dude, come on! Look at the skulls, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Come on! Those are all tiny skulls. Kingdom too. of Dan Aykroyd's weird paranoid fantasies. Um. Oh, okay. What does this do? <laughs> I love that they spent so much time on it. It's like uh, when I watch Crystal Skull. Oh, of course these Mayans just were hiding in the wall for thousands of years right. waiting for someone to attack. Yep, yep. Uh, what they would do. They made this big elaborate system. It's just so dumb. And then I think uh, there's it's enough water for me to movie. jump now. Yes, I am with my mouth open. I want to go to one of these caves. Oh god, there's water at the bottom. Ugh. I don't like I I've got some claustrophobia issues where I mean I, I would like I will go to a cave. I don't necessarily have problems with caves. But cave like water? going to Dirty cave water? No, not even that. It's mostly just going to like if it's a cave that somebody has already really, really checked out that's like a million percent structurally stable. Yeah. Where there's no chance of me getting trapped underground and suffocating to death. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's silly. You can die all sorts of ways. I made it. Yeah, but generally side. speaking, not going into caves reduces my uh, the How likelihood many cave, of of cave death. Have you heard of? Well, there was those Chilean I guess it is miners, called a right? Cave That's unfortunate. It has its own terminology, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a thing. It's not even just like a tragedy. They have a specific name for when the cave collapses and you die from it because of its frequency. That's right, because it happens so often. Come on, Sully. It's like Dance Dance Revolution. Come on. Why would they build such a thing? Woo, I won. That's kind of awesome still. So. All right. Oh, and that one actually stays up. <coughs> nice. This looks safe. <laughs> Sarcasm. <laughs> rickety, rickety. Like, I'd, I'd walk on this shit. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh, shit. The camera just moved. I got to run. We got to run. Oh, fuckity. Oh, shit. This is the worst. Why are we coming to this? This is why I don't go in caves. Ah! Try and think of a cool manly man uh -huh. who could, who's just got that s that it. sneer who could be a modern okay. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Nick Offerman. <laughs> <laughs> I did think that too, except where I'm like he's, he, uh, he's Nick a Offerman. At that, this point, Nick be. Offerman is Bron Swanson, and he's, he's just <laughs> he's leaned into it, and I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, I feel like Ron Swanson is Nick is Offerman. This, it's the other way around. <laughs> Nick Offerman was already this manly wood carving type of dude. Did you hear about the, the what the thing with his resume or whatever? With his big dick yeah. picture? <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> oh really? Have you seen the picture? No, oh I my gosh. Seen it. It's hilarious. Okay, who would put who would be a good Indiana Jones? Somebody who's you know, um a gold statue. You know who would you probably be good would be Chris Evans. Um, might be able to do that if you if you took like because you think about him when he was Johnny Storm right or yeah. was, the losers how he was very kind of quick witted and stuff like that so that if you were but able do you ever to think of like Indiana Jones as being quick witted he's a but he's, a, he's Indiana Jones is a, is a one liner kind of guy right I know Chris Evans can deliver a one liner but I also know that he's a good actor because Johnny Storm and Captain America are two entirely different characters I don't know maybe. I feel like it could be like a fast bender or someone. Someone doesn't have to make jokes so much as they have to be convincing of their just larger than life manliness. Unless what? Um, although I do agree, we should just get a movie of this. Mm -hmm. There's a dude in uh, Cougar Town who I think looks just like Nathan Drake. He could play Nathan Drake. Okay. Um. The H. John Benjamin should be the new Indiana H. John Jones. John Benjamin. 
throw me the whip. Uh, no, it's uh, more. Uh, it's more. Uh, fucking what's his face? Kronk. Kronk. Uh, stop here. Another ridiculous one. P- uh, Patrick Warburton. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Spain, we're about at quitting time, are we? Yeah. Wow, we've gotten very far. I've been told that this is only around uh, eight hours long, and we were just about. At least, we, I mean, we got some action in the first part. Yeah. Um, all right, we folks. Well, this is action. the new sequential Saturday. I mean, I think that we're gonna be, we're gonna be able to uh, we're gonna be able to get through this fairly quickly. Um, so it shouldn't be taking up a huge amount of time, and it's always fun. And look at this shit, man! Oh, it's beautiful. boom! It's a U boat. How did that even get there? And now there's zombies in the U boat. The Black Rock. Yep. Wait, what? The Black uh, Dwayne Johnson. He's already. Wait, I don't understand. <laughs> Wrong Black Rock. Wrong oh. Black Rock. Okay, back up, back. <laughs> Pull the ripcord. <laughs> All right, everybody. No, uh, let us know what you think down in the comments below. Let us know uh, who should be cast right. as both Nathan Drake and right. the new Harrison Ford. Yeah, and the new Indiana Jones. The rather. new Nick Offerman as well. And, and who should be the new Harrison Ford? Season. That's right. Who should be the new Harrison Ford? Uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, as always, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Um, you guys know all the rest. I usually don't go over it on the Sequential Saturdays. But like us on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe. And you know about buying this game or buying stuff for Patreon. So I'll leave you alone. So we're going to wait for this cut scene to... Jeff, yeah. I need you to stop being so hanky. Hanky? Hanky. It's, uh, what am I, Joey... Pants. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. All right. You're gonna. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, what's the hard Next way? Week. Yeah, we'll see you in seven days to talk about the hard way. A surprising find.